All right, guys, we're back again with Mike P's teas and such. Um, we will be doing videos a little differently because I need to cut down on time, apparently, for the way that my phone loads for now. So we will skip the part with me talking with the camera on myself. And from here and until the, the foreseeable future, we're just going to start out with the feeding videos, and I'll talk as I go. So here we have, what is it? Leuris quinquestriatus, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, also known as Deathstalker scorpion. So we are going to give these guys a little feed and see how they do. Um, this guy actually cut out in my last video, so we were not able to see the takedown, but he definitely did take it down. And, uh, we had some pretty nice action on that so hopefully he is hungry again um, I only feed my scorpions once a week every Sunday um, I, I've read that some people feed them twice a week but I've noticed that twice a week they really tend to deny food a lot more often and if I only um, give it a chance to eat once a week then they almost always take it. So, a lot of my show obviously will be stuff that I've found to work for myself. Um, as I've said before, I cross-reference everything I can, and I try to come up with the best solution uh, to care for my animals. Um, I've also said that I like to recreate as naturally as I can their environment. Obviously I do not have live plants. I don't have the ability with uh, uh, lighting and stuff. I, that's not in the budget right now. So in the future I do plan to have complete bioactive enclosures for all of my animals. Um, but that is probably not going to be anytime relatively soon. So let me try to speed this up for us. Oh, he wants it. He does want it. Here he goes. And we got a nice little bit of action there. Looking for a spot. Let's see if we can't get a little closer on that. Still got that nice little white Telson. He was definitely hungry. Today you may notice that I am feeding my animals, some of them maybe a little bit larger, a little bit more. Um, that is because I am going on vacation. That is also why this is being uploaded on Friday instead of Sunday's mass feedings, which will be the norm. Uh, as soon as I get back from vacation, but I will not be here Sunday to feed them. So I decided I'd give them a little bit extra. Um, and uh, hopefully they all make it fine. I'm sure they will. Um, we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, so up next is my larger Parabuthus transbellicus. I do have two of these. Now on the last video this guy actually took down two. I'm sure it'll eat. It doesn't seem to be too fat. Um, but yeah I definitely didn't mean to feed him two last weekend. Um, but sometimes things happen. Oh, he looks like he already wants it. He tensed up as soon as it hit. And there we go. Another nice kill. So officially this one has eaten every time I've fed it, which is only two times, but hey, I'm still not wrong. Like I said, I do have two of these. I will 
and we do have a surprise on the smaller one it did finally molt um, so I mean give me a second I will put this guy up and I will show you that tiny little molt So there is a tiny little scorpion molt. Let me see if I can't. There you go. So that is the top. And there is the bottom. And I always keep my molts as they grow. I'll have every one of them that they uh, that they give me in, in my care. I think they're little cool little things. So uh, once again, another personal preference thing of mine. So naturally we will be feeding that one next and it is looking really good. Um, let's see. So this one has not eaten in my care yet. And I'm kind of wondering if I should give him a bigger one or a smaller one. And I think I'll just give him a little medium sized pinhead to start him out. Said he hasn't eaten in my care yet. So it will be nice to get a good feed from this guy, especially since I'm going on vacation. I do want to make sure he eats. Um, we will maybe have some footage from the vacation. Uh, I am going to Florida, and obviously I like stuff like this, so usually most of us that do we like to go adventuring so if we get some good adventure footage then I will probably upload that um, if not then it'll you know be just another week but we got a couple things lined up to where hopefully I'll be able to get something for the show uh, might not want to eat yet I will probably pre-kill it anyway and leave it in there um, it's not going to hurt it it'll eat when it's ready but I do want to be able to provide it with a source of nutrients I'm sure it will probably eat later tonight let me, let me make sure real quick okay cool so I just wanted to make sure he's okay I noticed he hadn't moved at all Maybe now he's in hunting mode. No. Okay. Well, I will leave that in there until the video is over and then I will go back in and pre-kill it. it it has not already gotten them and we will move on up next is Androctonus australis number one and these guys are getting crazy I think these guys might be coming up on a molt I'm not sure but they are looking a little bit fatter than usual and uh, they did eat last week but usually they're slimmed down pretty well by the time it's time for the next feed. Um, so let's go ahead and throw one in there. Something to tell me number one isn't going to be interested. As I've said in the previous video, one and four are my picky guys, and two and three are usually the ones that uh, take down, even though uh, I believe three didn't take down last week. It did eat after pre-kill. They all actually, they all ate after pre-kill uh, for the ones that I did have to pre-kill. So, um, so they are still doing good. And I can't tell if he wanted that or if he was trying to shoot away. Let's see. One more little time. If he doesn't take it, we will move on. If I can get it to get to him. Nope, he is not messing with it. So, 
we will move on and obviously I will do the same as I always do so here is number two Yeah, they are looking a little plump to me, I guess. Oop, that one got away. Oop, not long enough. There it is. Okay. Let's see. I will try to hurry these guys up, because like I've said, my phone has been odd about what I can record or what length of time I can record. Ooh, ooh. Let's see what he does when he goes to the back of him. I can't tell if he's on guard or if he's trying to track it. Oh, he's definitely trying to track it. So there is number two, obviously, like I've said, it is one of the good eaters. And uh and I do keep a little tally of which ones eat that I did show in the last video. Alright, here is number three. This one is in a different type of enclosure. I'm probably going to put it back into a smaller one um, because, I don't know, I just feel like this one is too big for it. Um, it's, it is obviously, you know, a scorpling, so it doesn't need that much space but uh... I'm getting good with these roaches go that way hey, not that way go the other way go, oh, keep going, keep going I got a zagnut bar for you <laughs> I thought that was funny I don't know if you guys like Beetlejuice, but I do. Okay, ooh, nice. He ran for that one. Good job. I love when they're extra aggressive. Always makes for a better show. Okay, here is number four. Definitely will ease my mind knowing that, you know, the ones that I do know eat will eat while I'm on vacation. Um, I am worried about the scorplings more um, than the tarantulas, except for my two uh, Hapalopus Columbia species large, because those are super tiny as you've seen. They are only about an eighth of an inch and I feed my slings twice a week but I do not know how they are going to do going to do there we go three out of four nice I don't know how they are going to do if they miss a feed I know tarantulas can last long periods of time but these guys are definitely still in what I would consider the danger zone for um, for slings um, anything under that uh, I don't know. I usually stop worrying about three quarters of an inch. Uh, at least not worrying as much. So that is all the scorplings. I can put this back without wrecking everything. There we go. I don't know how I have trouble when I do it every week, but somehow it manages to work. Okay, on to the Juvie Tarantulas. This is my AG Nicolata. This, eh, this guy's pretty awesome when, uh, I mean, apparently he only eats for me. Hopefully that'll change today. 
and I can get a nice, he is actually finally out, which he, he usually is, but as soon as I touch his enclosure, he's usually gone. Um, give me a second, let me split the head on this roach, or not roach, but a uh, super worm. And I can't wait until I get my lat roach colony going better. Um, I do have hundreds of pinheads, but uh, there we go. I do have hundreds of pinheads, but they are still on the smaller side, so I am waiting for the appropriate sizes because I don't want to be feeding, you know, two to this one, three to this one. Just get all the right sizes and then do that. Man, I love this guy. Those colors are coming in so nice. I'm definitely really happy I got this one. Uh, this was my first sling, as I've probably mentioned before. And it is definitely nice and hardy. Um, I do have to restart refilling these water things now. So yeah, um, I will also be refilling water dishes. And if you guys ever see empty water dishes in these videos, which you more than likely will, it is because I have noticed that sometimes it is easier to give them the food first before I refill their water. Obviously, if you're not giving food, it really doesn't matter. Uh, these guys only eat once a week along with the adults. Like I've said, once I get to around this size, I start tapering off on the food and uh, they start getting fed as adults, which is every Sunday. Um, they seem to do fine. I'm betting this one might go into pre-molt, if not after this feed, after the next feed. And the sea cyanopubescens, or green bottle blue, I do not expect it to eat tonight because it is definitely in pre-molt and if it comes out you will be able to see it um, there's not really a bald patch I guess I could say but that abdomen is extremely fat for a tarantula that ate almost a week ago and it was already fat and almost refused food uh, it did eat that super worm that I left in the enclosure but it it was gone the next morning so yeah. Up next is Gramstola Pulcrapes. This is, I mean, obviously I don't have many, so it's really easy for me to pick favorites, but I don't know why these beginners just seem so awesome to me. I did get these all three as beginners to help me learn. Um, I have, like I said, I try to study the best I can, so obviously when I first got into the hobby I was trying to find out what were beginners and uh, this was in list find a worm here All right. and Ooh. oh nice that's good I don't know maybe you guys got a little fang action there sorry for the goriness uh, like I said, I do cut the heads off these. Um, they're a little bitey. And I don't really want that happening, as, as I assume most keepers do not want that happening. So I eliminate it all together. Um, I feel like if you're going to do it, just do it all the way. Don't just crush the head. I mean, everybody's got a pair of scissors. Just cut it off. Um, downside to that is that they definitely do not move as much so if you have a T that is based on movement it is probably not going to be that fantastic if it doesn't get it within the first couple seconds of it hitting. I have noticed that they do stop moving fairly quickly I mean obviously as most things should when you cut their heads off but yeah Okay, 
We'll now be moving on to the C cyanio pubescens. Like I said, I do not expect it to eat, but maybe you will get to see that fat little booty on it. Okay, so ever since I was talking about this guy not webbing as much as a Thai tiger, he has gone to town. It has gone to town. I've really got to stop saying that. But it is a habit. Oh well. Um, let's see if we can't get a reaction out of him. Like I said, I do not think it's going to eat. Um, it was just out. I wish I could show. Oh, there it is. Look at it. It is so plump. I am extremely surprised that he took that. It took that. <laughs> of course, I'm, is immediately after I say that I need to stop, I continue to do it. That has probably been my life, but yeah. Um, okay. Get some more water here. So I do got to quicken this up. We got a max of probably eight minutes left, which is fine. That's plenty of time. Um, there are some animals that you just won't be able to see eat because they just, well, they won't come out. But uh, I don't know they eat. And if we ever get footage of them eating, then of course I will share that with you. Get a few drops in the web here. I said it is coming next to a molt, so I definitely like to give them all the moisture that they can get. Um, this is a more arid species, it does like it dry, so I don't even keep this substrate as moist as I keep the other ones, obviously. Um, like I've said, I only keep a quarter of the substrate moist, so this one even less so. Or maybe not less so, but it's not as dark. There's not as much water in the soil itself. Um, so we'll go to the next one. Alright, so here is the OBT, or the Pteranoculus marinus. marinus. This one has definitely started to show itself a lot more. Um, like I said, I do have an Instagram where I post all of my photos and some of my shorter videos. Um, it is at Mike P's T's and such. If you guys would like to check that out, obviously, feel free. Let's see, I wonder if it is interested. I have um, decided to skip a couple of T's of uh, smaller ones because, like I've said, we're limited on time and I am not sure that those will even eat on camera. One is the C. lividum, the other is the P. Uh, Armenia. The C. lividum is, uh, is obviously in any of my videos or since, ooh nice, or since my care have, uh, it has not eaten on camera. But the P. Armenia, it eats, but I can just never get the right angle. I'm really hoping I'll be able to get one eventually and hopefully I do not have to wait until I put it in a different enclosure. All right, and this is the Thai tiger. Oh yeah, there we go. We are getting some good footage today. And I've got to say that that does make me happy. I have been trying to give you guys something to actually watch and not just my droll ass voice. Um, this guy, his enclosure, its enclosure is awesome. I love how he has webbed up that corner the way he has. Especially the way I have it displayed. You know, I put it up there so that is what I see. And I'll see him running around in there and doing his little thing. Alright, so here we have the Hapalopus species Columbia Large. And I will tell you what, these little flightless fruit flies I swear are the most difficult thing that I've ever had to work with but it is about the only thing they can eat so let's see these guys have eaten every single time I have uh, offered food so hopefully they will continue today's nice pattern of everything eating that seems to be caught in a web pretty well 
and it is going the wrong direction if it wants to uh, live <laughs> Hmm. Let me see. Like I said, I will have to push this video a bit. And it is stirring now. But. Okay, here it comes. Come on, get on that way, little guy. We are running out of time. Okay, here we go. Maybe we'll get something now. No, go the other way. Ah. Oh, this always goes the opposite direction of the way you want them to go. Okay, here he comes. Come on. Go straight to it. There we go. If you do not get that, I don't know what is wrong with you. do that well I am going to go ahead and call it on this one and we will just have to move on um, so we will see if the other one will take it quicker if it doesn't then I will have to go to the a Samani um, and we will have to conclu conclude our video I swear all I want is one fruit fly and I have to get 20 to get one Okay, so let's see. This one you can obviously see where it is. Uh, this is my second Hapalopus species, Columbia Large. Sorry about the camera shake. I was killing a flightless fruit fly. Okay, so I do have to quicken this up. Well, I don't know if we're going to have the time for this, guys. If he crawls in the right direction. He definitely does look interested. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. And... Okay, that was a big build-up. Hmm. I wonder... One more nudge. That thing is right next to you, bub. This is it. Bam, there we go. Alright, well at least we got one of them to eat. So let's cut over the Afanapelma Samani real quick. Alright, so here is my big girl, A Samani. She's going to get two adult female lats. There we go. And come on. Gotta eat them. Oh, she got one even though we did not see it. Let's drop this one right here. Oh, oh there we go. Alright, so now we will move on to the A. Vicularia avicularia. Okay, as I've said, I don't like to tong feed, but sometimes this girl 
just will not grab something. Oh, there we go. All right, nice. Maybe a little happy dance. Yeah. All right, that is. Oop, didn't mean to scare you, girl. That is my other mature female. These are my only two mature tarantulas: the A. Avic and the Athanapelma samani. So we are coming to the end of the show. Here is the. Here is my little buddy Gregory, Hedgerorus arizonensis. He is doing pretty awesome. So he's not out much during light times, but. Uh, hopefully we will be getting babies from the hot and tata hot and tata um, Hopefully not while I'm on vacation. I'd like to see it before she hopefully does not eat them and uh, We also have this large piece of cork bark Round that I just got today because like I've been saying I do plan on upgrading the um, Enclosure for the avicularia avicularia uh, Sorry to rush we are getting low on time Thank you to my subscribers. Uh, those of you watching that aren't subscribed, go ahead and uh, click that deal if you would. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.